Hello there. A surprising number of people have asked for an emblem tutorial, so alright, why not? That shouldn't take very much time to put together. My emblem right now is of course Thonk. It's an emblem that really makes you go... And I think it's made even more appropriate every day with all the bugs popping up in this game. I often find myself having that face. So I can show you how it was put together, I will go step by step in a moment if you're interested in really copying exactly what I did, but just a word of advice about the whole thing. The reason I decided to make a Thonk emblem was to have something that would be somewhat funny even if made quickly and poorly. So the whole point of this emblem is that making it isn't a fine science. You can kinda just look at a reference image, which I did link in the description, grab some shapes and throw them together. If you still want to copy mine though, here you go. I built the main body with a bunch of these rounded corner things, found in the shapes tab on the fourth row. So there's the first one on the grid. The color is this light orange default color right there. I will go through each shape fairly quickly, but I imagine you might pause on many of these if you want to be doing it that way. You'll want to just keep duplicating that layer a lot to save you from having to pick the color every time. So there's another one rotated to the side up there. And a third one flipped and rotated. And yet another one. And that's finally the last one for now. Different shape time, but remember you can keep duplicating the same shape to keep the same color, and then just press triangle or Y to change the layer icon. I switched to these more rounded shapes for the bottom of the face, you can find it right next to the shape we just used. And another one of those, but bigger, as shown. Then to make the face bulge out like that, I chose this weird rounded shape found on the far right, six rows down. Finally, I wanted to add a bit of a curve over there, so I added this shape found on the third row. It doesn't look like it lines up with anything, but the hand is going to be covering that part up, so it's okay. Then you can use whatever you want to just fill in the middle. Changing things up now with the semicircle rectangle shape here, and the color is a default orange, found two squares up from the old color. That'll form the base of the index finger. And this one will form the rest of it, just try to line that up, but if it's a bit off, who cares? Then I put a full circle on the end of the finger to round it out more, but I also didn't make it line up exactly with the rectangle on purpose. It's a bit bigger, because the actual thunk looks kinda messy like that. Next, another rectangle thing facing down. And another circle to cap that off. Then I just duplicated that circle to place there and start forming the rest of the hand. Switching back to this weird shape, continuing with the shape of the hand, you can tell I just grabbed any old shape and threw it in here since I didn't really need to worry about how many layers I was using. Then a circle shape stretched into an oval to round off the side a little bit. Back to a rectangle thing to form the thumb. And this is a very fine detail I don't know why I included. I put a tiny oval of the face color right there to cut into the thumb on that side a little bit, make it more concave. Then you can add the circle to round off the top of the thumb. And back down to the hand, yet another circle stretched out like that. And we should be good with the hand now, just adjust it as you see fit to make it look good if something wasn't quite lining up. Now we can move to the facial features, starting off with more rounded rectangle things for the mouth. There was no default color that came anywhere close to the type of brown I wanted, so this is 2210 in the color mixer. This is where duplicating layers and just changing the shape will really save you some time so you don't have to make that color every time. So copy that shape and move it over again. And do that one more time. Alternatively, you could probably just use one rectangle and stretch it out if you're intelligent, unlike me. Then you'll want two circles for both ends of the mouth. The one on the left I made a bit bigger to match the image, but those are details that don't really matter. Then you basically start doing the same thing for the eyebrows with another rectangle. I guess the thing about having multiple rectangles like this is that it's easy to have the same thickness everywhere without having to carefully stretch out a new rectangle. So you can copy that and put another one next to it. With a circle on the left. And a circle on the right. And finally one more circle as an eye. Moving on to the final eyebrow, this one has to fall off the border of the face a little bit. I started with that rounded rectangle, but shrunk it down a lot, like that. Then another somewhat squished rectangle thing on the other side. With a circle to cap that off. And a circle for the other side. Then a circle squished into an oval to connect the two rectangles. And finish it off by copying the other eyeball and putting that there. And that's it. Well, there you go. You can now have a thunk emblem of your own. 
Clearly, I'm not one of those emblem geniuses making crazy photorealistic stuff with this editor. I just wanted to spend 10 minutes and have something that would look funny when it pops up in-game. Hopefully they can get that emblem uploading and sharing stuff working someday. Then there will be no need for tutorials like this and we can all share our emblems. I wonder if they do something weird with it. Like, the expected way for it to work is people just upload their emblems. You can download a copy, maybe upload it, then make changes with the thing that you download. But what if they made it so that you had to pay like 100 armory credits or something cheap to buy a copy of an emblem somebody made, you can only use it, you can't edit it at all, and the emblem creator gets like 50 armory credits whenever someone buys something they made. I'm sure they'd be happy to remove some armory credits from the circulation, and then those talented emblem creators would be rolling in the armory credits. I haven't thought that through though, to be fair, and I'm already imagining a whole world of exploits that would pop up. Like obviously they couldn't give the emblem creators 100% of the proceeds, or you're just allowing the credits to be freely traded between players at that point. All of a sudden markets pop up outside the game to buy credits, and upvote manipulation. Okay, you know what? Forget I said anything. Sounded way cooler in my head. That's a mess waiting to happen. And they already have a few messes to clean up right now. How about we can just share our emblems for the sake of sharing them? And maybe you can get some more social score for people downloading it. There you go. Problem solved. Hope you enjoy your thunk emblem. And thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.